Well, we have a little bit of an example here of a construction zone. You can see what has been uh, put together. See a nice solid barricade here. Jason, how long has this been in place? Not sure. I don't come through here very often, but I think it's yeah. been at least a month. At least a month. Yeah, I mean, they're doing all of the, the sewage and water pipes in this neighborhood and like, in these neighborhoods in general. Yeah. I wonder, is this just one way for cars now then? It looks like they've taken away a car lane and it's only in this direction. Right. Well, that's nice and uh, easy yeah, pretty comfortable. Yeah, we're gonna turn this apart. Not quite a a North American cluster. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Town channel. I'm John Simmerman, and this is a special video in the ride along series uh, from my trip to the Netherlands. Uh, it was actually shot in the afternoon of November 1st, and Jordan Clark and I were honored to have uh, none other than Jason Slaughter with Not Just Bikes uh, take us around for a little tour of the Amsterdam that you typically don't see. So without further ado, let's dive right into this ride with Jason Slaughter. The light through the trees is so cool. I actually really like it here in fall. Yeah. I think it's my favorite season, as long as it's warm and warm enough and not raining. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know what it is, like 15 degrees or something. It feels nice. We're gonna turn right here. Okay. Not here, the next one. Beatrix Park? Uh, Beatrix. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice little park. Uh, doesn't get any tourists or anything. Yeah. There's actually a really cool like uh, kids climber here that's in like, it's called Spaceship Kids Park. It's like a right. giant spaceship that's landed. It's kind of neat. Cool. You might see that if you just look in right there. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> covered in graffiti though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. The cool kids. <laughs> right. The graffiti kids. The teenagers go and hang out there. Yeah. insanely nice underground parking garage that I've done I've filmed a few times right uh, they get really upset if you film in there actually so. yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> you need to get permission from Nate Alonso for me yeah but uh yeah that's a really nice parking garage and what's funny is that it's the third one because there's already two underground parking garages over there one right. on the south side of the station one on the north side right here and then this one was built and then they renovated those other two and it's a lot of parking here and yet still yeah. people park <laughs> where they're not yeah. supposed to well, that's it. That's what I saw yesterday in, in, in Utrecht as well. It's like, you know, all, you know, 12,000 plus uh, parking spots, you know, yeah. for that, uh, that station. And uh, they just had a whole bunch of bikes just parked out in front. And, you know, Hert was just like, yeah, laziness. <laughs> until, until they make it illegal, until I they know. prevent it. You know, people are just going to do the easiest thing. And so. Well, I mean, you do kind of get used to just riding up to where you want to go, parking your bike and go yeah. inside, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And, like yeah. this whole idea, oh my God, I have to go all the way down. All the way so down, oh my there. gosh. It'll take about, it'll yeah. take about, I don't know, 90 or 90 or 100 seconds, so, <laughs> I don't know. Well, multiply that 90 or 100 <laughs> seconds times. Over your day, I mean, yeah. how much of your life is being wasted <laughs> by underground bicycle parking? Is <laughs> the bike parking, and the, you can get a, you can go up to get a tram or something like that, and you never need to. We came to. out on food line, yeah. which was, Pretty nice. Yeah, it's right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, on the other side of this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just on the other side of this over time. But I think we'll probably cycle down this one. Now, would this be like your station? Like, if you're you're typically going to go go yeah. someplace yeah, serious? So, yeah. yeah. Over exercise, but it's quite hard to do. And he talked about like yeah when over exercise accounts. Yes. That's northeast is not supposed to be here. Yeah. This uh, this path is not permitted. But all right. Uh, so Jason, you just uh, made a comment about the. Uh, the scooter that went by, yeah. What was it that you said? To, yeah, they're not supposed to be on this uh, bicycle path. Uh, Amsterdam has banned the mopeds from most of the paths within the within the highway ring. Right. Um, and this is one of them. 
Uh, it's actually gotten a lot better since the van got in place, but it's certainly not perfect. They've been talking about, well, they've actually been trialing some uh, license plate cameras to ticket people, so we'll see how that goes. But that is not here anyway. Yeah, yeah. This is a relatively wide path, but. Right. Ever. Our... Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. It picked us up right as we were coming up. I hate crossing. It's not even bad, but it's like the only crossing we're going to And that was quick. Uh, all right, you, now you just said you hate that road. Now, I why do you that hate road. that road? Because it's like the only traffic light I need to, uh, all, basically, one of the only ones I ever need to go through. Right. And it's one of the widest roads I'll ever need to cross here. And so it sometimes takes a couple of minutes waiting for the light, although that time was pretty quick because it, it actually went red, but then it detected our bicycles and then it went back to green. So yeah, it did. It was a little hard. It was a little hard for us to see just because of the bright sunlight yeah. in our face, but uh, it went pretty fast. Yeah, it wasn't until so. I stopped and then looked down and I'm like, oh, it's green again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's nice. Yeah. But sometimes it comes through there and I have to wait minutes. Minutes. Oh, minutes. Oh my gosh. And uh, it's the only one, so, yeah. <laughs> so I hate coming through there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is a lightly used rail corridor here. You can see that uh, it's clearly not used much. You can see tell by the vegetation that's on here. And uh, Jason was just saying that uh, they still do like historic trams, but you can see on this other side through the railway corridor, they've already made it into a nice bike and pedestrian route. Again, nice rails to trails conversion, just like the one we saw in Utrecht yesterday. So Jason, is this a school? No, this is a football club. Football and club. tennis on the other side over here. Okay. Um, but nice and safe to get to for the kids. They take yeah. a, a trail over there. Right, right. Obviously there's a little artificial surface track there. Yeah. Very nice. And these are just kind of little boat houses on a canal. Yeah. So, I don't know about you, but these are the type of uh, routes that I like the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. And I think you and I talked about that in our uh, interview in uh, December of when you're able to get on a path like this and you're completely away from motor vehicle traffic. Yeah. It's just so pleasant. Yeah, and this is usually the fastest way to get there too. So, okay. this is what you'd want to take in any case. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to turn left up here. Okay. I don't come out here very often.
They say it's pretty easy to get to uh, work at the industrial park, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the famous DJ Armin van Buren, his studio is just down here, actually. Armin oh, wow. Studios. Okay. Maybe I should open a studio down here, too. Hey, there you go. It's just, just down there. And uh, <laughs> yeah, nice and accessible by bike, of course. Yeah. As are most places. Yeah. Shell station over there in the edge of an industrial park, and we still have a nice separated bike lane. Mopeds are allowed here now for what it's okay. worth. Because we're outside the highway ring. Ah, okay. All right, so Jason was just saying that, yeah, uh, we're outside the highway ring, so the mopeds, what's the? The Snorfietzen, yeah. Snorfietzen, the Snorfietzens <laughs> are allowed uh, outside of the uh, highway ring. So uh, that's the reason why we just had uh, two pass us in, in a matter of a, a couple kilometer or a couple uh, hundred uh, meters. Yeah. So there you go. They're still here. And we can see some of the newer housing. Yeah, this, most of this was built since the 1960s. Yeah. And a lot of it wasn't quite car friendly when it was built. And it was retrofitted. And you can kind of see the difference between some of the newer construction some of the older construction. And again, very car oriented out here, but still plenty of pathways to get us into and out of the area, which is the whole point. All right, here we go. Let's plunge deeper into suburbia. I like to take North Americans out here because like everybody's <laughs> seen the canal ring. Yeah. And they think, you know, I get, I get people saying, <laughs> Oh, Amsterdam can only do that because it's got these old streets and well, I know all this was built since the 1960s. Yeah. There's a metro station coming up here. A lot of them are elevated out, out here, so the, the rail lines and that's the metro there are all uh, elevated. And then you just go up a lift from the stairs. Yeah. It's not the prettiest of designs, but very functional. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. And importantly for us, I mean, it keeps us at this uh, even grade. Yeah. We're not having to go up, down, under. So that is the hardware store. Thank Home Depot, Lowe's. Take note of the much smaller parking area. It's also, um, it also has a gate, right? You can't just go in and park for free. Uh -huh. You need to get validated parking or something, right? Right. Might be fun to one day uh, 
hang out there and see how many cargo bikes show up and put lumber in and <laughs> all that good stuff. All right, let's try it. All right. Copy that. Yeah. This road, well, building the building, but it's still only one way in each direction for cars. Right. It's got the bicycle path here, which I'm assuming is two-way. Another one on the other side, tram track. Cool. Tree roots. Are Tree roots. Here, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tree gotta, roots. Gotta fix this up. But yeah, that's a really good point. It's like huge right of way, but still with all of that, just one, you know, unidirectional motor vehicle traffic in each direction. Yeah. yeah. They, and, and again, they, they do have some parking available on the street for a fee. And then they have um, uh, turning lanes. It's, uh, that uh, deals with the capacity. You actually, you don't get a huge capacity. You don't get a double capacity increase by doubling the amount of traffic lanes. Right. Uh, you can actually get fairly close to the capacity with a single traffic lane and turning lanes at the intersection because that's right. where most of the build up happens. Right. Huh. I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah? The, uh, Oh, yeah? The yeah. truck turning right on you. So, what's your commentary on that? <laughs> well, make eye contact, yeah, Jason. Right. Come on, make eye contact. Eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, there's going to be a lot of truck traffic out here. There's a bunch of warehouses and stuff. I know, but do, doesn't that kind of feel like to you, like, it does feel uh, a way, bit way high, maybe, you know, yeah. wear some high vis, Jason, yeah, wear know. some high it vis. Is a little bit. <laughs> it is a little bit. <laughs> and, and, I'm, I'm uh, a bit surprised because normally the signs are like, watch for cyclists. Right. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's one I haven't seen before. Yeah. So I have actually been out here. How See? That? Yeah. <laughs> you have been out here before. Yeah, it's funny because. My first uh, corona shot. Yeah, you got your first corona. My first corona shot was in uh, a similarly uh, remote location <laughs> that normally I would never go to. Right. And very car dominant. This is pretty car dominant for the Netherlands, but uh, Yeah. Like, well, was that Jordan? We were just noticing another pop of John. Looks like we've seen another one. Oh, there are a lot of pop of John. Lovely. It's kind of funny. Isn't that company owned by another wackadoodle dude? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Leyland. Yeah. This is Amsterdam Leyland Station, which is like a bit of a meme on, on the Amsterdam subreddit about how it's like should be a UNESCO World Heritage Site. What? It's so beautiful. Really? <laughs> because it's not. Oh, got it. Is, it's oh, got such it. a functional station. I actually right. love Amsterdam lately. Right, right, right. It's the best. I want to make a video about it because it's like, yeah. it's not very pretty. It made 1984, but it works really well. I like lately Lund. There you go. That'll be that'll be the intro to your, your video. <laughs> Me go. filming you saying, I like it. I like, <laughs> I like it. Lately.
So Jason, we just rolled through a little uh, suburban context roundabout. Yeah. Uh, I know you've done a live stream on roundabouts. You and I have talked about that before. Yeah, and I've come out here on yeah. live streams a few times. Nice. I mean, it's really easy, right? I didn't really, yeah. really need to think about it. Yeah. Uh, I love me some Dutch roundabouts it's when they're really done well. Safe, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what I love about them too, and it, it kind of came out in our conversation, is that sometimes you just ride them and you don't even like realize, oh, I just round that, I rode a roundabout. Yeah. It just, it yeah, just it's happens. Easy. Yeah. Speaking of which, here's another yeah, one. Here's another one. This, this one's actually fairly new. It used to be um, just painted lines uh, mm -hmm. for bikes, but then they put the curbs and they did a proper treatment. Yeah. But this is very recent, actually. Within the last few years. And from a dimensions perspective, you see you've got plenty of area there for a motor vehicle to queue up, yield to the pedestrian and person walking, and still be safe. It's the way we're supposed to be doing it. Not North American style turbo roundabouts that fling motor vehicles at squishy pedestrians at 35 miles per hour. And look at the condition of this path. Wow. Yeah. Well, this is really nice. We within the last few years. Yeah. We looked at maybe living there. But okay. It just felt like Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just new condos. <laughs> yeah. Nice enough. Yeah. But and we've lived in stuff like that in other cities. But it kind of felt like, why are we coming to Amsterdam and living in yeah. a new condo? I don't know. That's the North American bias. Yeah, yeah. Going through there, they're perfectly nice. They're perfectly nice condos, and yeah. it's actually a little pedestrianized area in there. It's actually a really nice group of build buildings. This is nicer than riding on the road, right? <laughs> Why water Jason, what? This is nicer <laughs> than riding on the road? Yeah, riding next to the busy road there that yeah. you're on. This is the parallel route, I suppose. This is the route that I would take if I were coming up this way. This is Rembrandt Park. Right. Um, the same as most of the parks. They uh, they design it so that it's like a like a highway for bicycles. But that, you, that's still compatible with, uh, with a park. So this works really well. Right. That's a nice, safe way to get to the other end of the city as well as being a park. And those new condos there you see are right on the park. Mm -hmm. That's just quite nice. And under an old underpass. Ole, 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 ole. That's for you, Ryan. A lot of bicycle infrastructure advocates, activists, fundamentalists, like poo-poo the whole concept of off-street network pathways. And I get it if it's not connected and doesn't go to anywhere. Yeah. But the whole point is it's way more comfortable to be on this than out on the road. Yeah. So it's like, I'll take this any day. I think Jason Slaughter too. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is nice. It's exactly the route that I take if I need to get if I need to get to uh, like out of us. Yeah, and it's like you know, would you rather be in trees? You know, greenery. Hear people talking when it's not super windy, <laughs> uh, rather than you know around a whole bunch of exhaust yeah. and cars. I mean. Again, it, 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 connectivity is key. The, this has to be able to connect to meaningful destinations. You need to be able to get on it and off it. But uh, I don't know. I'm sold. And notice the lights. Um, you can ride this at night. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know when they when they do um, bicycle paths through uh, parks in North America. It's usually done just because it's cheap and easy, not because it actually gets people to where they want to go. Yep. But it can be cheap and easy, and then if you connect it properly to a separated bike network, it can be very functional as well. This is, this is not expensive infrastructure. No, but it has an excellent return on investment. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that is key. Yeah. Oh, hi, doggy. Fun.
Yeah, uh, Jordan and I were just having this conversation too about he's doing work on a on a multi-use. Is it multi-use path? Yeah. 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 It's being talked about like a recreational facility yeah. instead of the, of multiple uses and purposes. Yeah. Meaning. Look at how wide this connected. is. Though, too. Yeah, I know. And I there's mean. actually that's the walking path. Right. So that, that's. I mean, you can walk on this if you want. Or you can jog on it. Or yeah. That's the walking path. This is the bicycle path. This yeah. This is like. I don't know what this is. I think this is over four meters, right? It looks about five to me, I don't know. Anyway, I mean, this is plenty comfortable. This is actually the way that I would take if I came to the end of Run Grand Park. You go through mm -hmm. this, this neighborhood, oh, it's perfectly fine because it's very low traffic and there are no stop signs. So this is also a perfectly reasonable way to take. And I would prefer to take this than to be out on the more major street with traffic lights and cars and stuff. Like this is, this is way easier. Yeah. And we've yet to see a moving motor vehicle. Yeah. Obviously there's plenty of parking, but yeah. they're, uh, serving some traffic calming aspects to this and it is a, this is a school zone too so you probably notice that very nicely done oh there's a feed strap here i guess oh wow yeah okay. here's the cars Pull up over here and I'll figure out the best way to get to the user work site. Alright. I smile, you smile, we all smile. I haven't been out here in a while. But, uh, I mean, yeah, this is all the part of the town that I would never come to unless I had a specific destination I was coming to. Yeah, like going to, going, to going to the dentist. Yeah. Uh, I smile, but anyway. Uh, but that was pretty nice that she uh, capitulated and decided to open up an office closer to you. Yeah, right. Yeah. my favorite. No, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe this is for traffic calming to keep us crazy cyclists from going too fast. There's this Mercedes here with a yeah. loud exhaust stuck in traffic. Yeah. Cycling yeah. faster than you doing, but good job. Do you think it's more along the lines of just they haven't gotten to it yet to get come in and do the uh, the smooth pavement? They redo some stuff with, with papers even now. Yeah. Um, it's done for various reasons. Sometimes with tepid aesthetic reasons, so I'm not sure if they'll if they have any plans to, to change this. It certainly makes a difference though. I mean having that smooth asphalt <laughs> surface is a lot. this is a lot it's of a lot jarring. Bumpier than what we were on before. Yeah. I almost want to take my uh, tire PSI down just a tad. <laughs> Although look ahead, look at this, smooth pavement, asking ye shall receive. No, wait a minute, Jason. What was that? You're saying Google Maps isn't the best? Yeah, Google Maps is kind of shit for cycling in Amsterdam because it'll put you on, on routes like this. This, um, yeah. That, have, that are alongside the cars. Yeah. Um, 
And uh, I mean, in the U.S., this would be beautiful, right? Like, right. this would probably be the best bike path in your entire city. But right. here, it's annoying to ride next to the cars and to have to stop at stoplights. Right. Because there's other parallel routes to this that won't get us hit by turning cars. Right. Um, where there's no stoplights, there's no uh, stop signs, and it's just a much more direct route than going along the way that the cars have to go. So here's a question for you. So, uh, how, how's your Dutch these days? It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, getting there. So yeah. I, I pulled up the Fietzerbahn routing uh, app. Yeah. It's all in Dutch, right? Uh, I, I guess so. I yeah. never really think about it because my phone's in Dutch anyway. So yeah, I guess so there you go. Not available in English. <laughs> I couldn't find the English <laughs> tab. So I was like, I would prefer to use the Fietzerbahn routing system, but I think it's pretty much all in Dutch. Learn Dutch. So, <laughs> have to learn Dutch for the trip. Okay, now I'm confused. Are we outside the loop? Are they able, or is this a different type of facility? This is a very big road. Uh, the thing here doesn't have any exception saying no. Uh, got it. Uh, this is, it's because this is considered to be such a major road that you wouldn't want uh, mopeds on it. And it is a little bit funny. In North America, there's nothing particularly special or dangerous about it. This would be considered a pretty safe road, right? Right, right. So to say that this is not safe enough for uh, mopeds to go on is kind of funny. But, but technically, the mopeds are supposed to be limited to 25 kilometers an hour. But technically, Everybody yeah. removes their speed limiters, which is part of the problem. But uh, I guess if you were going 25 kilometers an hour, it would be a little bit of a problem to be on a, a road like this. Right, right. And I do notice that they are wearing their helmets now, which is also yeah, part they, of the they, law yeah, the that took place, helmets. yeah. Surf the wind. Ah, yeah, that is nice. That's much better. So now we're in Duster Park. I guess I've taken you through three parks now. Three parks. Yeah. Beatrix Park, Rembrandt Park. And and um, and see we and we did Vondel Park earlier, so yeah, you we, did Vondel Park we've earlier, uh, so. we're hitting some of the big parks. Yeah, love the trees here on this yeah. one. Again, this is a really nice, big, wide path. Mm -hmm. This is even wider than what we were on in the Rembrandt Park, and it's perfectly nice. The busy road is over there, so we don't have to be there. There is still a bicycle path, a protected bicycle path, on that road, and you know that it's. Maybe it's a little bit faster to take that instead of coming up here. Although once you include traffic lights, probably not. And that's the kind of the Google Maps will put you over there. Right. When this is here. Yeah. So even if this took me a minute or two longer, why, why would I be over there instead of here? Yeah. Yeah. Which is such an interesting concept too, because in North American mentality, it's like fastest route from A to B and not thinking about what's more pleasant. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But also, the fastest route tends to be the car route. They are one of the same, right? Because it's right. made to be fastest for cars. So right. It's it's a little bit backwards to think that it would be faster to not go the way the cars go. Yeah. We don't also, also don't need to be that close to those fire trucks, which is nice. <laughs> so as we were saying before, the fire trucks so rudely interrupted us. Oh, and by the way, did you see the size of those fire trucks? Like half the size <laughs> of our fire trucks in North America. But that's a whole nother topic. But as you were saying, it was like, you know, it's, it, it may necessarily, or may be quote unquote faster A to B over there, but it's certainly not very pleasant. Yeah, yeah, if you hit all the green lights. Yeah. So. But I, I wouldn't want to ride there yeah. when I can ride there. Agreed. But you know, it's still safe to ride over there. That's the thing. Like it, by yeah. North American standards, it's not like it's some big strode where you're along like high speed traffic and in a painted bike lane, it's still, what Americans would call a protected bike lane. It's still perfectly safe. It's just, this is better. Right. Yeah. 
And it is sl a slightly different context. Uh, in our interview in December, we had some video footage of one of the uh, kind of constrained old downtown areas. And uh, it, you can just feel the stress because of all the, you know, curb cuts and, or, you know, yeah. whatever, you know, all the businesses and all the points where you have conflict. Yeah. Um, this is a different context. This is closer to a North American context, uh, but still much com more comfortable yeah. over here. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we came to the end of that uh, delightful little off street path. Now we're back into the street network. Back on the pavers. Yeah. This is actually a fairly busy road by Amsterdam standards. In yeah. South Kata. I don't know if this would normally be the way I would go. So this is like a major route for cars. Right. Here. So this is where all the cars are. And then there's actually a parallel street on the other side of the canal, which is nicer than this to ride on. Let's cross over and go over there. Anyway, so that was Nassau Kata, which is, you know, again, protected bike lane for most of it, but a bit busy and hard. Yeah. And then here, you know, harder. But, and this is much nicer. So, there's a lot less car traffic here on this parallel street. Yeah. Because um, there's no through traffic here. The other street is for through traffic. So, cars can come here, but it's only going to be local traffic makes it nicer. Yeah. Okay, Brandon, this is for you. Look what we're rolling up on. Transport pizza. There it is. Very excited. Yes. Thank you. So here we are. We're, we're here at Work Cycles. Again, Brandon, this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, say hi to Brandon. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> Come over sometime. That's right. He'll be, he'll be over real soon. Hey, Jason, thank you so much for, for doing this, for, for taking me for a little ride. Yeah. I know you get a ton of requests <laughs> oh for, God, for that. Uh, you know, for your fans, what do you want to say, you know, about... I, obviously, you can't meet up with everybody. Yeah, I mean, I would love to. Maybe I have yeah. to do an NJB con sometime. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, it's it's too bad that I can't meet up with everybody. There's just too yeah. many. But that's a good problem to have, right? Yeah, yeah. So absolutely, and and congratulations once again on the success of the channel. It's been so cool to see it, you know, expand and continue to grow. Uh, and, and I know last time we talked, uh, you were you were still just like floored <laughs> that yeah, this yeah. happened and, and it's been quite a bit since then so. yeah 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 you're you're narrowing in on a million yeah. Yeah. uh subscribers, sub yeah. subscribers yeah. and uh you, you get a special plaque for that right uh yeah you do you get one at uh at a hundred thousand one at a million yeah. one at 10 million etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so, so yeah you'll be there soon you'll be there soon <laughs> and again yeah, thank you so. so very much uh you've been so generous uh with me and, and my channel and uh it's been so so much fun to, to watch uh, your channel take off and just really, you know, the orange pill revolution <laughs> that's happening um, because it's it's so cool to see that people are, I mean, I, I see it, you know, talked about every single week. 
somebody knows what a strode is. Yeah, right? It's good. Because, it's good. You know? it's, that's, that's really good. Obviously, I can't take a, a full credit for the strode, but uh, I'd like to think I at least had a part in popularizing it, which is good to see. Absolutely. I mean, that's just one example of the fact yeah. that, uh, you know, because there's... Uh, what's your most popular video at this point? To the it's best still Dutch Bicycles, but okay. the, the Houston video is like this close and, yeah. it's, and it's on track to pass it within a few months so yeah, I think yeah. I hate Houston is going to be my legacy I guess that walk I yeah. took in Houston to buy a suitcase so. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah well I, again once again thank you so very much I, I really do appreciate it and uh, best of luck to the continued growth of the channel thanks sir yeah Cheers. cool hey everyone I hope you enjoyed this little ride with Jason Slaughter uh, and if you did please give it a thumbs up, <laughs> leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, it'd be honored to have you subscribe to the Active Towns channel. Uh, just hit that subscription button down below and be sure to ring the notifications bell and select your notification preferences. Uh, I certainly appreciate it. And the other thing I really appreciate are all of you who are helping to support the channel uh, via Patreon, uh, buy me a coffee, YouTube super thanks, you can do that right here on YouTube, as well as buying things from the Active Town store and making donations to the nonprofit. Oh, and by the way, did you know, if you are a Patreon supporter, you will actually have early and commercial free access to all of this content. So for as little as a dollar a month, you could also have that as a nice little side benefit. Again, thank you so very much. Until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. <laughs>